What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon uh, X walkthrough. Yeah, I was about to say Emerald. What the hell have, been, have I been smoking? I don't know. Anywho, here we are in Geosense Town, and, well, there really isn't a lot to do here except just collect, like, maybe three items, which I'm going to show you guys right now. First off, let's heal up our Pokemon, because who doesn't like healing Pokemon? Really. Who doesn't like healing their Pokemon at all? And look at that, our Pokemon are nice and healed. I will be getting a Pokemon out of the PC just because uh, I need a Pokemon that knows cut and all that crud. So let's see, where, oh where can we get? What Pokemon should we get? Now let's see, hmm, who is in line to come? Oh yeah, you know what, Mr. Teeny, he's making his return back to our team just because, you know, he knows cut. And we will be needing him pretty soon here. Now, if you talk to this individual, he's like, if you have a Pokemon that is pretty slow, give him, give this one a try. And we get ourselves the TM66, which is Payback. And let's see. Payback move doubles in power if it goes off after a target makes its move, which is a good move. Very, very good move. Now, let's see. I'm not trying to go right behind there. And, of course, it's lagging. Hold on. There we go. My bad, guys. I don't really have to say it so many times, but do excuse the lagginess and all that crud. So here we go, another one of these motels right here, and you will be finding maybe an individual here or there that, you know, can give you an item. I don't think none of these people will give uh, give you anything. Now, this person right here, I believe, will give you, I think what it, what it is called, a downcast ribbon. And that all depends on a few situations right there. Don't really want to get into the specifics, but let's go up here. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. Kalos region is nice and all, but you should really check out my region. We have it. We have this town that you sh oh, you wouldn't believe. Ah, never mind. You'll see in due time. Okay, what region are you from, homeboy? I've been to all of them. I've been everywhere, man. And well, we talked to this guy right here, and it's the O Powers man or the Bond Mr. Bonding, and he will give us the O Powers, and right here he'll give us a speed level or speed power level one. Which is always great right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and find another item right here. Not not a, not, not a very uh, it's a useful item for those like for Pokemon that you don't want to evolve and all that stuff. Yes, we're talking about the Everstone. So let's go find that Everstone right here. Now it's in one of these houses. Don't necessarily know which one. I believe it's this one right here. Like how do you enter these houses? How do people live in this area? And no, that's not the one. We have to find a scientist. So let's see. Where is the house? WTF. I'm gonna be going around right here. Let's see. No entrance area. There's one. Where is you? Opening, opening. Come on. Who has an opening right here? Nobody has an opening. Okay, so uh Jeebus. Okay, so let's see. There okay, here he is. One house. And if you talk to this scientist right here, for some reason a Pokemon will not evolve when it holds an Everstone. I have quite a few of them, so I'll share one with you as well. And look at that. We get ourselves an Everstone. Very, very uh, fun, fun stone to actually have. If I was actually trying to get Gaia uh, 3 to evolve into, what was it? Uh, whatchamacallit, my Pokemon, my awesome Pokemon, uh, what's his name? Uh... What was it? Gardevoir, uh, Bl Glalie, or no, Bl Fuck, I forgot his name. Yeah, if I try to evolve into his male form, then yeah. Not really gonna be, uh, not much. Yeah, it's not gonna help if the Pokemon, uh, doesn't have a certain stone to evolve and all that stuff. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I am all over the place. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And let's go ahead and get the F out of here now. Now that we've, uh, already uncovered the whole Team Flare thing, we can actually get through here. And look at this. Lucario, what are you doing? Would you look at that? Hey, you're that trainer from round five. Oh, I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying that he wants to battle with you. Would you battle with us? So I have two Lucario. But do you know which is which is the one that has taken a shine to you? I, I already know who, who's taking a shine. It's one of the Lucario. So here we go. Taking on Leader Karina for the first time. And here she comes up with a very powerful Lucario. Okay, so remember guys, Lucario is a steel and fighting type Pokemon. So, yeah buddy, let's go with the Fire Fang right here. Look at that. 
no mercy. And here comes that power up punch. Good golly. Remember, it powers up every single time. So let's go again with another fire punch. Or no, not fire punch, fire bang. And look at that. Oh yes. Defeated. Gaining levels. And what else? Nothing else. Mr. Teeny, of course, will be growing levels because, you know, it's mooching like that. So here he comes out with another Lucario. Yeah. You ain't got nothing on me. So here we go. Fire Fang. I was about to say Fire Punch. And no. Wasn't going to defeat him just like that. But here comes another Power Punch. And, well, let's go ahead. Finish him off. Fire Fang for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, yes. How do you like me now? Oh, yes. And Gaia 3 grows to level 27. Mr. Teeny, <laughs> level 12 here. And we defeated Leader Karina. What? What? Not even my ultra powerful Lucario Duo can stand up can stand up to you. Nope. Can't. Sooner or later, they won't be a duo. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I am the gym leader in Shalut City? Once you get past the cave and just beyond here, you'll be there, so stop by and say hello. Okay. Shalur City. Let's go. So here we are at Route 11, Miroi, or Miro, or I don't even know how to say it, uh, Miroi Way. Not even gonna pronounce it because, you know, I butcher these names so badly. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here to Kakashi Hatake because these are two of the Pokemon that might evolve later on here, and let's take on this hiker. Do you think, like, oh, wait, wait, he's not gonna even buy, buy Battle Us. Do you like Soothe Stones? I think they're neat. I don't even know what Soothe Stones are. Okay, well, never mind. Let's battle this guy. I use everything I have as a source of my power. My body, my spirit, and my emotions. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go. Psychic Emmanuel wants the battle, and he will be coming out with a Slosis. Look at that. Slosis. Okay, alrighty. So Slosis, get ready to get licked right here, because, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. I definitely love that sound, and here comes that light screen. Anywho, guys, um, so, I've already posted it up on my, uh, my community page. I mean, two days ago, I recorded it, and I was talking about it, and all that stuff, but here it is today, since I've already recorded it, and you guys are gonna hear about it. So, there was an issue a while back. Now, one of the reasons to why I decided to take a nice break was, yeah, to, to, to just, you know, breathe. To breathe a little, to, you know, relax, because, you know, ever since this pandemic started, bam, I've been doing nothing but Pokemon walkthroughs, and we've managed to finish, like, about four walkthroughs in this year alone. That's never been done. Uh, with that being said, I was also playing games outside of, you know, right here, of our regular, you know, Pokemon walkthroughs right here, and one of those games was Pokemon Sun and Moon. I played it again. And this time, I, I managed to complete the whole thing. Finish it all. Now, there, there is a, a bit of an issue. You guys already seen it. There, there has been an issue. And I have already addressed it. But I'm going to tell you guys again. So, unfortunately, because of the pa the Pokemon Palace... I, would, I don't know if I'm getting that right or wrong or something like that. But look at that. Thunderbolt. Okay. Let's go with Thundershock right here. Uh, because of the Pokemon Palace uh, in Pokemon Sun, Moon... I'm assuming Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon has the same thing. It will be make or it will make it difficult for us to actually try and stream these videos the way I, I normally do. I give you guys some options, you know, old school camcorder, uh, buy another, buy a wired uh, capture card, which will would be rare and pretty much expensive. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. Do it in Japanese, but I do have a handbook. And the last one, just skip skip through to Pokemon's uh, Sword and Shield. Now, again, I'm I'm down for whatever guy whatever decision you guys want to make on this. Uh, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you guys do have that option to choose my starter Pokemon. Since in this game, I kind of took it away from you. But the thing is, right here, what's really bugging me is the fact that you know I'm the type of person that likes to. That likes to go off of like you know his specific plan. Everything has to be 
according to plan. Uh, when I first started this walkthrough, or the, when I first, you know, restarted this whole channel right here, it was on the basis of doing it in chronological order. After Kalos, I was going to go straight to Alola, and I've already gotten an idea of how to play this game. Uh, I definitely like the storyline, I just don't like the fact that it, it, there's no gym leaders. But, because of that Pokemon Palace and all that stuff, it, yeah, it's, it's making it difficult for us to do anything. Uh, I know many of you guys want to see it. I know many of you guys probably would have preferred going into Sword and Shield since it's the current game right now. But for me, it's like, uh, hey, you know, again, chronological order and all that stuff. So it is what it is. But if you guys choose, if you guys want me to go with Sword and Shield, then well, by all means, let's go with Sword and Shield. I've already tried out the the streaming process. I do have a separate card, capture card. Uh, for the uh, Nintendo Switch works perfectly So we're good to go. We are good to go guys And look at that we defeated her. Okay, so let's move on. Um, let's see What else can you find right here? We're gonna get a hollow clip uh, message right here from Professor Sycamore right here. Look at this. He's like hello there Looks like you've all almost made it to Shalu City. That's fantastic. It looks like your journey with your Pokemon around Kalos region is going swimmingly. I wanted to tell you about a, a person in Shalur who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. I, I've told I've told everyone else about him. So if you have a second, you should go visit. Hey, you should go him. Uh, go. You should go give him a visit. Well, I can't even read correctly and all that crud. Okay, so yeah. That is that right there, but since we do, since we have Mr. Teeny right here, let's go ahead and uh, cut this open and grab that little item right there that's been looking at us. Look at that, we found ourselves TM69 Rock Polish. Now, here we are at Route 11. There are specific Pokemon that you can find. You can uh, you can find Chingling, uh, Dedene, Dedene, I can't even pronounce that name right. Uh, let's see, Hariyama is a good Pokemon right here. Need Arena, Need Arena. Uh, let's see, Sock, Staravia, uh, Stunky, and Throw are some Pokemon that you can actually find in this area right here. Now, in Horde versions, or in Horde factions and all that stuff, uh, if you're playing Pokemon X, you will find four Nidoran, Nidoran males and one Nidoran female. And in Pokemon Y, it's, you know, in reverse. Another uh, Horde faction that you can actually find is Starly and Stunky. So if you guys want to capture those Pokemon, you can find them right here, which of course, I will be back. I will be back to get these Pokemon. And, well, sadly, we don't have a flying type Pokemon yet, but if you go up to these stairs right here, you will be finding a Pokemon uh, trainer that will want to sky battle you. So, yeah, we don't have a Pokemon that can sky battle just yet. Godzilla has not evolved. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be doing a double battle just to just to make that uh, possible. So let's go with Kakashi and Godzilla, two of the best Pokemon out there, and let's go ahead and battle. Rah! Ha! <laughs> Behold the results of my training! All of my training was for this match. Okay, well, alright, uh, uh, um, uh, rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub, let's go. Okay! So here we have another battle against a psychic and a karate uh, karate uh, guy or something. So Machoke and Mr. Mime are here, and well, let's go with eh, let's go with a Dragon Rage to this guy, and let's finish him off with a Water Pulse. So here we go, Dragon Rage, all the rage. Looking at Water Pulse, take out the muscle, and then finish it off with the little one. And it survived. And look at that. Now you're confused. And yeah, you shoulda not done that. You shoulda not done that. That's automatic 40 points. And look at that, Machoke beats himself up to to death and stuff. And yes, growing to level 32. This is friggin' awesome right there. And he's learning Flame Burst. Okay, so let's see, what's a good move to take out? Let's go ahead and take out Smoke Screen. And bam. Okay, so Kakashi Hitake grows to level 32. That a boy. And look at that, Bonesaw, growing levels like crazy now. 
So let's go ahead and do the same thing since we do have an encore onto onto a uh, Godzilla. And well, let's see. Let's go with a round attack right here. And it didn't. Affect oh wow. Yep. Forgot the Mr. Mime. Wow. Okay. So it had. <laughs> it's immune to sound and to dragon type moves. Did not realize that. And yeah, we can't use anything but dragon rage. So yeah, we're gonna have to. Quick attack this guy. Alright, quick attack for the win. Nope, not for the win. And this guy right here is just gonna destroy my Godzilla. Good god, okay. So, let's see, come on. Yeah, we can't use anything. Good gravy. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not going to let Godzilla faint right here, so let's go right ahead and use a super potion to Godzilla and Kakashi Hitake. Let's finish him off with. A water pulse attack since you know ghost type moves don't really have a any effect on these uh fairy type Pokemon. So there we go, water pulse for the win. God dang it, nearly the win. And alright. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so now we can actually hit this guy. Let's hit him with a flame burst attack and Kakashi Hitake water pulse attack. Here we go, flame burst for the win. Suck on those lemons, Mr. Mime. Yeah. That'll teach you. Look at that. My Pokemon are growing levels. Guy at three. About to evolve. This is awesome. So we're close to having some fully evolved Pokemon right here, which is cool. Okay, so let's see. Pretty much changed my mind on the whole aspect right here, but look at this. There sure are a lot of mysterious stones in the Kalos region. That, that is true. Okay, so... We we don't yeah we do have it on enough time but you know what I'm gonna pause my game right here stay tuned in the next episode we're gonna be going into what is this called again we're going into the reflection cave there's gonna be a lot to go to go over in that location from there you know tour of uh, Shellur City and then that's when the real fun begins so thank you guys again for watching this episode I'll be back for another episode see you guys.